What's up everyone? Happy Monday. Um, today is August 24th at 7.56 a.m. Gonna do video watches today. Um, so if you guys don't know, or if this is your first time watching, I do a free video watch list for the viewers on YouTube every single Monday. And every other day I do it for uh, MIC members. So this is kind of your way to see what my thought process is before I enter these trades, what I'm looking for and how I'm gonna execute. So let's start. <clears throat> Sorry, Pixie. This is a low hanging fruit. This was pumped up on uh, Friday. Um, so what ended up happening on this is you can see kind of had its morning move, got pumped, broke down, and then anyone that overstayed their welcome kind of got trapped and then it came all the way back. So if I just keep this extremely, extremely simple, what I'm looking for is I see a pop towards 450 and a pop towards 480 and maybe even five bucks to short. So hopefully we get to those lines. And if not, I don't really want to chase weakness here because it's already kind of broken. So I don't really want to waste my time um, kind of getting stuck here. So give me one second. Uh, MTP. MTP, again, this was another kind of stock that was pumped up in the morning by the open. It kind of got destroyed. So again, what I'm looking for is you could see this 250 half dollar mark. If I draw a line. <clears throat> 250 is what I'm looking for. I mean, if we could ideally pop towards kind of 270s, that would be even better. But I don't really think this is going to pop. So I got 250 and I got 270, which kind of lines up with the view app from yesterday as well. Givo is a dead cat bounce. This is destroyed. Um, in my opinion, this day that I traded a billion shares means that a lot of people are stuck. Uh, they don't really had have they haven't really had a chance to exit. So in my opinion, this is kind of one that's probably just going to slowly fade back. Uh, in a perfect world, right? In a perfect world, we get a pop towards 140, which is previous resistance, and call it 150s half dollar mark. So basically just waiting for this thing to bounce towards the lines and gonna short it. I really don't think this has much steam left. ADMA over here on top. Uh, this kind of made its move to six in the morning and then kind of broke under this four kind of death line. Uh, it's kind of just consolidating under. In my opinion, what we've seen in this market lately is they make these stocks look very, very weak pre-market and then out of nowhere they get a rush of volume because they're easy to borrow. So on something like this, it's got to be a nail and bail. It's got to be quick. <clears throat> Do not overstay your welcome. Do not mess around. Do not try to chase weakness. This is one that if it bounces, you short it, you get out, and you don't mess around with it again. Right? So what I see here is obviously you got some lines here around 440 and around 460. So let's see if we kind of get up that high. I think this is going to trap people because it's easy to borrow. Uh, and it already broke down. Again, like I said, the trend that we've been seeing in the market is that these easy to borrow stocks have been rebounding a lot further than people think. So just keep that in mind. So and then similar thing, uh, basically just waiting for a bounce on this one. This one is not easy to borrow, so it might be a little bit easier. So looking for a call it a four eighties push, right? Four eighties, five fives, right? Four eighties. All right, so I just draw my lines and setting my fantasy orders if they get there. And last but not least, we're doing TTOO again, keeping this very simple. I see 180s, 180s, 190s, two bucks again, every 10 cents on this one. So, what I do at the end of these videos, uh, to make sure that you guys are watching it is at the end I do a secret word. Uh, so reply to the thread or reply to the video with the secret word, red cup. Uh, and yeah, guys, so additionally, uh, for non-MIC members, we're gonna have a special announcement today at 11 a.m. at our YouTube Live, so be sure not to miss it. That's it, guys. If you have any questions, let me know.